Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. This is the last and final video on game theory. Two more problems. 14th and 15th. These two problems I'm going to explain. Last video I have explained you the graphical method. So under graphical method we have two strategies. To a 2 by n problem and n by 2 problem. 2 by n means only two rows but n columns. Whereas n by 2 means n rows and two columns so previous problem we have done on 2 by n and in this problem n by 2 also we are, we are going to do the problem so before starting the 14th problem i expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which i have given in the link under my description take the screenshot of this 14th and 15th problem then i'll explain See the problem number 14. <clears throat> Solve the following game graphically. Here two rows are given. A, A player is having two strategy 1 and 2. And B player is having three strategy 1, 2 and 3. Again it's a 2 by N problem. So two rows. So we have to evaluate from maximizing player point of view. Row we have maximizing player. Columns we have minimizing player. So we have to evaluate from maximizing player point of view. The strategy for maximizing player is maximin. That means maximum among the minimum. So first of all see here, solving the game graphically, two rows A1 and A2, three columns B1, B2, B3. It's a two by N problem, two rows and N columns, where player A has only two strategy, whereas player B has three strategy. So we evaluate the problem from the point of view of player A because player A is having only two. So we evaluate. The player A is a maximizing player and the strategy is maximin. Maximin means maximum among the minimums. The lower envelope. Minimum values we are having in the lower envelope in the graph. So in the lower envelope we have to select the maximum. That is maximin. Now, now, graphically how to draw the graph, two strategies are there A1 and A2, so two parallel straight lines A1, A2, right? Now three strategies are there for B, so three lines we have to draw between these two parallel lines. The first pair is when A1 is 1, A2 is 8, A1 is 1, this is A1, this is 1, and A2 is 8, this is 8. Now, uh, with the help of a scale, uh, join these two points, 1 and 8. Join the points 1 and 8 and write it down first strategy. Second pair is 3, 5. A1 is 3. So this is A1, this is 3. And A2 is 5. This is A2, this is 5. Join these two points with the straight line. This is the second strategy. Now third strategy, 11, 2. A1 is 11. And A2 is 2. So join the points 11 and 2. This is the third strategy. Now, all the three strategies we have drawn the line. If we are evaluating from maximizing player. We need maximum, maximum, maximum among the minimums. The minimums you will get in lower envelope. Lower envelope. Now in this lower envelope, see where the two lines are intersecting. At two points, the lines are intersecting. Here one point and here another point. In these two points, whichever is the highest maximum, the highest is P. So this P will give you maximum value. So what are the two lines intersecting at P? Third line and second line. So second and third, these two lines are intersecting at P. So we take second strategy and third strategy of B player. So maximum is at the point P where the two lines intersecting are B2 and B3. This is B2 and this is B3. So finally, the 2 by 2 matrix is A1, A2, B2, B3. B1 is omitted. Right? So 3, 5. 
3, 5, 11, 2. Right? Now already we know P is the probability that A player will select A1 and Q is the probability that B player will select B2. B player will select B2. So P, the formula is A22 minus A21 divided by A11 plus A22 minus A12 plus A21. So A22 is 2 minus 5 divided by 3 plus 2 minus 11 plus 5. Right? So 2 minus 5 is minus 3. 3 plus 2, 5, 11 plus 5, 16. So minus 3 divided by plus 5 minus 16. You will get minus 11. Minus minus will get cancelled. 3 by 11 is the value of P. That is the probability A player will select A1. 3 by 11. Q. The formula is A22 minus A12. A22 minus A12. Divided by denominator same. A11 plus A22 minus A12 plus A21. Now, 2 minus 11 divided by 3 plus 2 minus 11 plus 5. So, minus 9 divided by minus 11. Minus minus will get cancelled. 9 by 11 is Q. Probability that B player will select B2 is 9 by 11. Value of the game A11 into A22 minus A12 into A21 divided by A11 plus A22 minus A12 plus A21. So, here 3 into 2. This is 3 into 2 minus 11 into 5 so 3 2's are 6 11 5's are 55 divide by 5 minus 16 so minus 49 by minus 11 you will get 49 by 11 so finally the optimal solution is the optimum strategy for player A is 3 by 11 and 11 minus 3 is 8 8 by 11 the probability that A player will select A1 is 3 by 11 Probability that A player will select A2 is 8 by 11. That's it. Now, optimal strategy for player B. Player B, actually three strategies were there. B1, B2, B3. But B1 was eliminated, not considered. So, probability will be 0. Then, B will select B2. What is the probability Q? 9 by 11. The 11 minus 9 is 2. 2 by 11. So, these are the optimal strategy for player B. And the value of the game is 49 by 11. That's it. This is the 14th problem. Now last and final problem is 15th one. See carefully. Problem number 15. Solve the following game graphically whose payoff matrix for player A is given below. So A player is having 1, 2, 3, 4. And B player is having 1, 2. So here two strategies are available for B player. Whereas four strategies are available for A player. So we evaluate from player B point of view. This problem is exactly opposite to the 13th and 14th problem. 13th and 14th problem we have evaluated from A player point of view. Now we are going to evaluate from B player point of view. Because B player is having only two strategies. B1 and B2. Right. So here the column player is a minimizing player. B player is a minimizing player. So his strategy is minimax. Minimum among the maximums. So we have to see upper envelope. Previous problem we have seen lower envelope. Right? Now, solving the game graphically. A player is having A1, A2, A3, A4. And B player is having B1 and B2. Right? All the values I have taken. It's a N by 2 problem. Because N rows and 2 columns. Right? So we evaluate from the point of view of player B. Player B is a minimizing player. His strategy is minimax. That is minimum among the maximums. So we need upper envelope. Here we have taken lower envelope. Here we will take upper envelope. Right? Now, the strategies. B player is having two strategies. B1, B2. So two Parallel, straight parallel lines will take B1 and B2. These are the strategy for player B. Now, A player is having different strategy. A player is having first strategy 2, 4. That means when B1 is 2, B2 is 4. When B1, uh, when B1 is 2, B2 is 4. So 2 and 4, join this line and put it as number 1. This is the first strategy. Right? First of all, what is the highest value? 6. 
what is the lowest value minus 2 so i have taken origin 0 below minus 1 minus 2 and upper 1 plus 1 2 3 4 5 6 that's it first strategy completed second strategy a2 is 2 uh, when b1 is 2 b2 is 3 b1 is 2 b2 is 3 now join these two points you will get second strategy so first strategy completed second strategy completed third b1 is 3 b2 is 2 b1 is 3 b2 is 2 then 3 and 2 join these two points you will get third strategy fourth last final strategy a4 is minus 2 6 when b1 is minus 2 b2 is 6 so b1 is minus 2 b2 is 6 join these two points and write it down fourth right so four strategies four lines we have drawn now we are concerned with mini max minimum among the maximums so upper envelope in this upper envelope how many points are there where the two lines are intersecting in this upper envelope so this point and this point two points are there but in these two points which is the minimum point because our strategy is mini max minimum among the maximums so minimum is point p which are the two lines intersecting at p point this is third line and this is first line the so first line and the third line these two lines are intersecting at p first and third that means a1 and a3 the minimax is at point P where the two lines intersecting are A1 and A3. That means we have to remove A2 and A4. Only A1 and A3 we need. So 2 by 2 matrix A1, A3 and B1, B2. So A1 is 2, 4 and A3 is 3, 2. That's it. We have reduced the matrix to 2 by 2. Now apply the formula to find out the P, Q and V value. P. A2, 2 minus A2, 1. A22 two two is 2, 2 minus 3, divided by 2 plus 2, 4, 4 plus 3, 7. So 2 minus 3 is minus 1, divided by 4 minus 7. So minus 1 divided by minus 3, minus minus gets cancelled 1 by 3. P we got 1 by 3. Q is equal to A22 two two minus A12. A12 two. A two is 4, so 2 minus 4, divided by denominator same, 2 plus 2, minus 4 plus 7. That is minus 2 divided by minus 3. Minus minus will get cancelled. 2 by 3. So we got the value of Q. We got P. We got Q. Now V. Value of game. A11 into A22. Minus A12 into A21. Divided by same denominator. A11 plus A22. Minus A12 plus A21. Denominator will be same for all the values. Now 2 into 2. This is 2 into 2 minus 4 into 3. Right? 2 2 is a 4, 4 3 is a 12. 4 minus 12 is minus 8. Divided by minus 3. Minus minus will get cancelled. 8 by 3 is V. Finally, we got the solution. The optimal solution strategy for player A. Actually, player A was having 4 strategies. Out of four strategy, two uh, strategies we have selected. That is A1 and A3. A1. So what is the probability that A will select A1 is 1 by 3. 1 by 3. A2 is not there. Here only A1 and A3 is there. A2 and A4, 0 will take. A2 and A4 will take 0. So A3 is 1 minus 1 by 3, 2 by 3. So finally, optimal solution is 1 by 3, 0, 2 by 3, 0. That's it. This is the optimal strategy for player A. Now, player B. Player B, only two strategies we are having. We are having. So what is the probability that B player will select B1? That is Q, 2 by 3. 2 by 3, 1 by 3. This is the optimal strategy for player B. Finally, the value of the game is 8 by 3. That's it. This is the end of 15th problem. Totally 15 problems I have solved on this topic of game theory. So, so far I have completed queuing theory and game theory. One more topic is there called simulation. 
that will take up inshallah in the next video so if you are satisfied give a like to the video share my channel subscribe if you have not yet subscribed by the super thanks which is given below my video inshallah we'll continue the next topic of simulation in the next video